Hello everyone, uh, Bill Porter here. I figured it's a gloomy day. I'll do another behind the scenes video of how my display is set up. I'm a little bit different than everybody else because I typically use smaller F Falcon F4 controllers instead of F16. Uh, I kind of wanted to show the division of labor, which is what I'm doing right now. Everything uh, showing green on the house is one F4. That's a uh, glowing green back and forth there. Everything in the yard here that's glowing red is another F4. And then the things that are cycling red, green, blue are actually my Wi-Fi based uh, pixels. So if you'll notice the path lights on the ground here, those are my GECEs are all Wi-Fi based controllers. That's my own version of the pixel stick more or less. Uh, the lights on my blinds that are actually inside my house are pixel based controllers. So that way, I don't, or excuse me, Wi-Fi based controllers. So I don't have to run cords inside my house. And that goes for what's happening around the garage door as well. Uh, the tree is a little interesting. You'll notice that the shapes of the tree are blinking like it's a Wi-Fi controller, and that's because it is. But the outline is fading, and that's because it is attached to a Falcon. So that was a very sophisticated setup in X-Lights. Um, and it's a product of just, that's a three-year-old tree, and I built it with dumb nodes and pixels on the outside, which wasn't a problem but back in the Vixen days. But with X-Lights, it was a little bit challenging. but. I was able to get it. So anyway, the controller that runs the front yard, that's my front grass right here behind that middle pixel pole, so we'll go look at that real quick. So this is one control box that's doing, it holds one of my Falcons that hold, does everything in the grass, including the mega tree behind me. So you'll see it's got two power supplies, and there's the F4 sitting on the lid. I have the expansion board on the F4 with one output running and as it runs woods out to the tree. I think right now I'm only using three of the pixel ports on an F4. Yep, I only have three pixel ports used on this F4 for my front yard, my front line here. So we'll close that box up. You'll notice, you know, the, the reasons why I call my display a little bit different is I, I typically run power separate from the controller. So you'll see I got a, a fuses in line there and I have a power distribution block right here. And then all my power comes out on these uh, waterproof uh, automotive connectors here to go out to my props. All my props are wired that the power injection is built into the prop itself. And all they have to do is each prop has its own power cord that runs to it. So for example, my pixel tree here. Here's my one injection point for this prop. That plugs in with a removable trailer connector. And then all my trees have it. And the same goes for my pixel poles. My pixel poles all get terminated with one power connector. And then the data in and data out, three core connectors. Uh, I wire my entire show that way. It just makes it easier to set up and take down. And it makes power injection a little bit easier. So there's the F4 in the yard. That's running everything in the yard. And you'll see the couple wires that come off it. I have a modest size pixel tree here. It's only 12 by 50. Plus the uh, that 60 node star, I think. And uh, all that is wired in one box up here. This box is pretty dumb. Just a single 5 volt power supply for the tree. And then a 4 port receiver for the Falcon. And uh, a backup old single port receiver for my E131 bridge days, which is in there just for the sake of it. But I can probably remove it at this point. So that's everything in the yard is quickly done. Now let's take a step back to look at my house again. So everything else around my house is kind of all run from the same general area. You see my two pixel grids on my columns right here. Uh, there's my other F4 is hiding behind this pixel, this uh, column right here, and it's the one doing a lot of work. It's doing tons of outputs that run my entire house. So I hang my control boxes off the same strap holding up the grid. A little clip I printed just to hang it and make it easier. So here's my other F4, my really busy one. You'll notice it has the expansion and I'm using both outputs from it. So I'm running four ports, two more, uh, two more sets of four ports from this F4 in different locations. Once again you'll see here's a fuse block. I run power injection separate of the controller. And then everything terminates down to my uh, automotive connectors here. So I'm using all four ports on this guy right now. 
Some of, one of them, for example, runs straight up to my grid right here. Again, like I say, all my props have power injection built in. So here's my one power lead to my grid. And then and the actual wiring of the grid of itself, it just powers every row from here. And then it's one long line of pixels zigzagging up and down. Uh, this this was the I got a thumbs down originally on this and the wife, but now she likes it. That was a way to hide all my wires ex instead of the old rug method. Uh, this was a last minute ad just because I had some issues with some the reliability of some of my C9 type pixels. So I wasn't originally planning to have this box or to use these expansion ports, but I wanted to reduce my dependence on data continuing through my C9 type pixels. So I distributed some other strands out onto different pixel ports that I wasn't originally planning on. So this box, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to open it. Here, I'll go in here with the phone. Don't know if you can see it. Single port expansion, 12 volt and 5 volt power supplies. This is kind of a common box build for me now. Um, a couple boxes are like that. Two power supplies, 5 volt and 12 volt. Fusing and, a four, and an F4 or a 4 port differential receiver. There's another box like that. So if we come over here, here's my singing faces, my pixel based bulbs. There's my snowflake swirl tower. And then my big singing tree. And behind my tree is the last location of my big controllers in the yard. Uh, we'll start with the simple one first. The dumb controller, or the, the excuse me, the you know the AC, the uh, dumb node type controller. So I have an old uh, Renard uh, 24DC running my dumb nodes and my singing face. That's currently being driven wirelessly from one of my Renard Wi-Fi pixels. Believe it or not, I found the Wi-Fi more reliable than the wired method from one of my Falcons for serial. And I think it's just because I've had so much trouble with the quality of crimps or crimp connectors. I don't think it has to do with the Falcon. I just, instead of fake fighting it, I just decided to go back Wi-Fi and it's worked great for me all year. Uh, this is my other Pixel controller, another F4 receiver coming from the Falcon in the front of the house. Here's the 4 port receiver, fuse block distribution, 5 volt supply, and I also have a 12 volt supply, a much bigger one than this one. So that one's actually got two full size power supplies in it, plus the fuse block, plus the 4 port receiver. And this is pretty, this box is pretty much doing um, some of my singing elements, my snowflake tower, and everything on my garage. Is that why this one actually looks pretty messy? Because this one has a lot of it coming from it. I do have a small little box over here, but that's my full, that's my year-round box that holds my pixel stick that powers my landscape lights. So you can see those pixel-based landscape lights here. I actually do use them in the light in the Christmas show as well, though not very. Uh, Ob obviously, they're just mixed into some of my whole house models. And then you can see here's the rest of the front of my garage. Uh, an example of how dense I'll pack a pixel port is probably here. Because if I remember right, I have to go back and look. I have one pixel port comes and does all four candy canes, comes down and does the hollies. I think it actually goes back up one more time and does those icicles all off one port. And I think it's close to 600 pixels. Um, but that's what I'll do just to, to just try to save wiring slash the need for a large controller as I string a lot of props together. So you can kind of see the, the cable going up, down, over, up, down, over, down to the holly, over to this holly, and back up to do the icicles after that that are in the garage. And then you can kind of see my year round pixel strips. Those are there year-round, running off Wi-Fi. And I also use those a lot in my show. And again, like I said, all my props are power injections built in, so each Holly has its single power connector. And then it's got the data connector in and out. And I think I actually went a little bit more crazy with this Holly because it has a power connector in and, out, in and out to continue the power injection wires over to the other Holly. So some props are now actually building power in and out as well as data in and out. And I'm using 14 gauge for all the power connections. So my entire show is pretty much wired to be the three pin 18 gauge to, for the pixel and some power and then 14 gauge two pin for the rest of the power. 
and then you can see I have some C9s on my roof and I go all the way up to my snowflake tower. Um, so that's my show, or it's behind my show. That's how it's wired and that's how it's set up. I might change it a bit next year. I might put both the Falcons behind, one behind each column, and then run uh, differential receivers out to the boxes in the yard, just because it means the more expensive parts closer to the house, and that means the networking to them would just be at the front of my house and everything else will just be pixel signals traveling around. Um, not sure what I'm going to do about the singing face. I mean, it works, but I would like to convert them to be 100% pixel, just for the ease of easeability of use going into the future, not having to fight separate serial or Wi-Fi issues just to make the singing face work. Uh, I would like to uh, make it easier so that it's all pixel. Other than that, I have some plans for next year, but nothing major. So we'll see. Uh, happy late Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.